You don't know farming until you farm in Nino Kunai. It keeps me from platinum. <laughs> to be honest, I've hardly played that game as well. So many games I've not been able to play because of just having no time whatsoever. Might be an area four. Maybe. Yeah. There he is. As always, breakable parts, we've got the base, we've got the arms, we've got the horns. It's harder for me to just play games, um, like, casually anymore, because like... Because I don't live with my boyfriend, I'm gone for like a few days a week and obviously I have a life outside of YouTube as well so I've only got limited days each week to record and I record a few games at once for my channel as most of you guys will know there's like two or more games um, you know that I'm let's playing on my channel at once and obviously now I've started live streaming as well so I literally have no real spare time to play games like off of YouTube because when I record in the day I'm all gamed out really, it's like I spend all day recording and then I stop and it's like oh I'm not really in the mood to play games now, I just want to watch something because I've been playing games all day. So sadly there's a lot of games I've ended up buying and just never completed. No healer should be interesting, yeah. <laughs> it will be interesting, sir. Purify. I've been doing pretty good keeping up with new purchases, so Seth, almost done with Dark Cloud on the PS4. To be honest, I'm just trying to be more selective with what games I actually buy, just because I have no time to complete everything. It's like, there's no point in me paying full whack for a new release game if I'm not covering it for my channel anymore, I may as well just wait. I mean, I've still got the, um, like, a few Tales games that I've never played, like the Vita one, I've got all of the old ones that re-released in a, um, like, a triple pack on the PS3, um, you know, I've got, I also bought Drakengard, the third game, I got Kingdom Hearts, which I've never, ever completed a Kingdom Hearts game. Booyah! Nicely done, Yuki! You haven't even finished Kawami's story. Exactly, Seth, I haven't. I just kind of like stopped playing this game, didn't I? Because something else came out.
But yeah, someone was asking me that. They were like, oh, when are you going to continue Let's like, playing Kawami's story? And I was just like, I don't know. I've got so many games due out, I don't know if I will. Because like, at the moment, I would love to be able to stream twice a week at least, but I can't at the moment. I can only stream once a week and obviously I want to be able to play with you guys, so I don't just don't have the time to do the single player story. I want my live streams to be online multiplayer with subs and viewers, so it's really difficult at the moment. Oh, welcome. Did you guys hear about Alan Rickman? Yes, I did. And I'm absolutely gutted. I just feel like so many amazing people are dying at the moment. I mean, cancer can just F off. It takes... It just takes people too early. Famous, non-famous. It's just a horrible, horrible disease. completed. GG guys, GG. in area 7 then on the map I think oh no it's not ah, it's back the other way you must have you must have been too slow then Aaron it must have been Seth had joined already Don't worry, um, you know, I'm Maury, hopefully I said your name correctly, and Yuki will be leaving at some point, probably after this mission, so we'll have some open slots then, so just make sure you're ready. So, legs are all the breakable parts. dodge though
We aren't playing DLC at the moment, so you should be able to join regardless of what DLC you've downloaded. As far as I know, anyway, you can join rooms that are playing DLC. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done DLC quests before when I hadn't downloaded it. Not unless I'm thinking of a different game. Well, that was fast. <laughs> GG, everyone. GG. Have a quick drink. I hope Soul Sacrifice Delta comes next on the next stream. Well, once we're done with this live stream today, I'll probably put it to a vote on my Twitter account. So make sure you head over to my Twitter, which is at GadgetGirlKylie. And uh, yeah, I'll probably put it to a vote so you have a chance to vote for Soul Sacrifice Delta. It'll probably be a choice out of Tukudun Kawami, Freedom War, Soul Sacrifice Delta and Dragon's Crown. I don't even know. I don't even know how I'd livestream Dragon's Crown. I think I'd have to do it um, through the PlayStation TV because I've got the PS Vita version. I don't remember if I downloaded the PS3 version of that. Okay, so wings, tail, legs, horn are breakable parts on this bad boy. I prefer, definitely prefer blade wing uh, over this one. This one's a little bit more annoying than blade wing. I like you fight boss monsters, yeah, like, you can do missions against little minions on this, but for the live stream I just purely want to own large beasties, that's what it's all about. <laughs> okay for me to join if no one else wants to. I'm not trying to be pushy or anything, it's just that the game in general is pretty inactive at all times in my experience with the game. Um, I haven't played on Soul Sacrifice Delta in ages so I don't know how active online is but I imagine it would be quite dead now since it's been a while since the game came out but I'm sure if I were to plan a live stream a fair amount of my viewers and subs would try and play. Trying to read the chat and avoid this guy's attacks at the same time. <laughs> Most games on PC are locked at 30 FPS. You don't want to break it because the controls will be super sensitive and have problems with the game. Yeah, exactly. Just like this game on PC. It just goes super fast. My brother showed me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's purely unplayable like that. <laughs> I'm playing is Tukudun Kawami. You can get it on the PlayStation Vita and also the PS4, although I am playing the PlayStation 4 version 
You can also get it on the PC as well. Oh, you were talking about uh, Tukudun Kawami. Did Soul Sacrifice Delta go on sale before Christmas again? We won't be able to find the lobby because we have a full team at the moment, but we will switch team after this. Now that more people are showing up and more people want to play, we can get some variety on the go. Ow. Yeah, all information when playing online multiplayer games is always in the stream description guys, so if you ever need to check on the room details or any rules on playing with me or the stream chat rules just make sure you look at the stream description also of course i've got links in there if anybody wants to donate and help support me live streaming here on youtube yeah i kind of walked into that didn't i off with your arm On PC, it's still 60 USD on Steam for Tukadun Kawami. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It was expensive here in the UK as well. Oh, nice finish, guys. GG. Oh, we got a Mitama as well. Yoink. SSDs still had players when I last played. Cool, that's really good to know. Thanks for letting me know, guys, because as I say, I haven't played Soul Sacrifice Delta in forever. It must be like... God, the last time I uploaded a video? I don't even know when that was. I, I, Chitonian, Chitonian, that's how I say it, I'm probably saying it wrong, I probably say a lot of monster names wrong on Monster Hunter, Tukadun, Freedom Wars, it's fine, <laughs> you guys know what I mean, who am I on the map, am I blue, yeah I'm blue, so go back down here, I wish you stayed a colour when you are in the room and you know what your colour is to know who you are on the map as the little arrow. breakable parts we've got the hideous snake tentacle tail we've got like the arms I guess and horns I 
remember somebody saying um, that they felt like the monsters on this game, like the monster designs, weren't very good. They were like really unoriginal. I disagree with that. I think they're amazing, like a lot of them. This one in particular is so cool. I mean, it's hideous, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most sexiest looking monster I've ever seen. See, Seth agrees with me, the switching of colours is annoying. When you're trying to find yourself on that mini-map and you're like, what colour am I? What arrow am I? It is quite irritating. Yeah, exactly, Seth. I just say cat one or ugly snake lady. <laughs> That's so much easier than actually saying their names. <laughs> that big monster. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> I haven't had um, a union attack yet, or whatever it's called on this. Like, as in me having it, or having to initiate it. Like, not ever, I just mean on this stream. This poor monster, he's getting wrecked. He deserves it! Just look at him, man! He's hideous! Oh! Yay! Finally! I just jinxed it, didn't I? Complaining that I haven't been the one to initiate that attack and I got it. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. The game heard me. Ask and thou shalt receive. I probably think our team is overpowered right now. <laughs> I did say not to use overpowered weapons and stuff, but to be honest, I've just decided I don't care. <laughs> it's dead. Oh, I remember that, Seth. Seth saying, um, there was one stream of this where we got wrecked by two terror grinders or two pyro grinders, but we ended up winning. I remember that. That was like a really long mission as well. But it was hilarious. Like, I remember I got pissed off. I was like, for fuck's sake, because I absolutely hate Terra Grinder and Pyro Grinder. Like, I think they are actually my most hated monsters on this. Right, someone requested the Teutonian Fiend next, so we are going to do that next. 